Welcome back to Sports Fans Only. It's your host, KJ, and I'm here with another SFO production. Today, we're not going to do What Could Have Happened series. We are going to do an SFO update on the Brittany Griner situation that's going on over in Russia. Um, as you know, she had just went to trial and it just started. And, you know, she's facing 10 years for getting caught with some oils. It wasn't even actual marijuana. It was actual oils that she's taking she has a prescription for now granted it's over here in america but it's a logical fair excuse now she's over there working right she's getting paid a million dollars i'm sure she's paying a lot of taxes on that money now we all know what this is really about if it was just a normal citizen that was paying that much taxes and something like that happened i'm sure they wouldn't be facing 10 years maybe they would this is russia we're talking about but um i just feel like this is a political statement but we'll see what happens. But before we get into that, um, with great delight, I would like to report that the Mets beat the Yankees yesterday, six to three. Like the sound of that. And right now they're playing. They start at seven o'clock. It is the end of the second. Uh, Mets are up one zero. Pete Alonso home in the left field, uh, which also makes me feel great. So all you Yankee fans out there stressing, you should be stressing. A lot of injuries starting to pile up. Guys are starting to lose finally. It doesn't always seem like that happens with you guys. You guys win. You guys are monsters in the regular season. But when it really comes and when it really counts, see, Derek Jeter's not there no more. Um, Bernie Williams ain't there. Posada's not there. O'Neal's not there. All those guys aren't there. Sabathia. Even even, even uh, Alex Rodriguez. None of those guys are there. So Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that real quick. Throw it in your face. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this uh, Brittany Griner update. Let's go. Now, after months of internal debate, the Biden administration has offered an exchange of Victor Bout, a convicted Russian arms trafficker serving a 25 year U.S. prison sentence as part of a potential deal to secure the release of two Americans held by Russia, Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan, according to people briefed on the matter. The plan to trade Bout for Whelan and Griner received the backing of President Joe Biden after being under discussion since earlier this year. Biden's support for the swap overrides opposition from the Department of Justice, which is generally against prisoner trades. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced Wednesday that the U.S. presented a substantial proposal to Moscow weeks ago for Whelan and Griner, who are classified as wrongfully detained. Speaking at a press conference at the State Department, Blinken said Biden was directly involved and signed off on the proposal. Although Blinken did not directly confirm Bout was part of the deal, saying he can't and won't get into any of the details of what was proposed to the Russians over the course of so many weeks now. He said in terms of the president, of course he was not only directly involved. He signs off on any proposal that we make, and certainly when it comes to Americans who are being arbitrarily detained abroad, including in this specific case. Brittany Griner testified she signed documents without understanding what they said after being stopped at Moscow Airport. The top U.S. diplomat said he intended to discuss the matter on an ex- ex- expected call with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Larov this week. I hope I said that right. His first conversation with the counterpart since the war in Ukraine began, telling reporters, my hope would be that in speaking to Foreign Minister Lavrov, I can advance the efforts to bring them home. There is, in my mind, utility in conveying clear, direct messages to the Russians on key priorities for us. And as I mentioned, these include securing the return home of Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan, he said. The families of Whelan, who has been held by Russia for alleged espionage since 2018, and WNBA star Griner, jailed in Moscow for drug possession since February, have urged the White House to secure their release, including via a prisoner exchange if necessary. Who is Victor Bout? Russian arms dealer known as the Merchant of Death touted for U.S. prisoner swap. National Security Council Strategic Coordinator for Communications John Kirby said Wednesday that a senior administration official spoke with the families prior to Blinken's announcement about the substantial proposal. Biden recently spoke by phone with Griner's wife, Sherelle, and Whelan's sister, Elizabeth. Griner, who pleaded guilty in early July but said she unintentionally brought cannabis into Russia, testified in a Russia courtroom Wednesday as part of her ongoing trial on drug charges, for which she faces up to 10 years in prison. It is understood that her trial will have to conclude prior to the deal being finalized. According to U.S. officials familiar with the Russian judicial process and the inner workings of U.S.-Russia negotiations, during months of internal discussions between U.S. agencies, the Justice Department opposed trading bout. 
However, justice officials eventually accepted that about trade has the support of top officials at the State Department and White House, including Biden himself, sources say. The Russian government has frequently floated about as the subject of potential trade for a number of Americans. The Russians over the years have certainly expressed an interest in, you know, Victor Bout's return, but those are, as I learned in my old life, very complicated issues in terms of trying to sort through, he said, referencing his long tenure as a diplomat. The U.S. government has long resisted prisoner swaps, claiming concerns that they only incentivize countries to detain Americans so they can be used as bargaining chips. Advocates have questioned these concerns and have argued that it is more important that Americans are able to come home. Among senior Biden administration officials, the idea of prisoner swaps gained new momentum earlier this year after the successful release of Trevor Reed, a former Marine who was held captive in Russia for more than two years. Reed was traded for Konstantin Yoroshenko, a Russian pilot then serving a 20-year federal prison sentence for cocaine smuggling conspiracy. Biden officials have been concerned that the decision to swap Reed for Yaroshenko would be criticized by Republicans. Instead, it won bipartisan praise, including from a handful of Republicans who were normally sharp critics of the administration. That reception, sources said, led the administration to re-examine all options, including potential swaps to get Whelan and Griner out of Russia. So I think this is a very, very substantial and important uh, thing that's going on right now. Normally, this would never happen. That's why you have people wrongfully detained in other countries, and they stay there sometimes unless... If you're a normal citizen and you get arrested in another country, have you ever seen that show? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was that show that used to come on uh, Locked Up Abroad. Those people had to escape. Wasn't nobody coming for them, for the most part. So, you know, Brittany Griner is very lucky that uh, Steph Curry and LeBron James and people with so much pull are speaking up for her so um big salute to those guys too they're sticking up for their sister as they should they're in a very small professional fraternity and um they should stick up for their sister so um i feel like that's when it really got momentum they just spoke about a week or two ago right now they're say the white house is saying that they 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 gave them a proposal in the beginning of the year i kind of find that hard to believe but whatever maybe they did but um as far as lebron james and steph curry as soon as they spoke the very next week this is what's going on so take it for how you want to take it i'm just here bringing you the facts so anyway this is kj like i said this was going to be an in and out video just wanted to give you guys that quick update and uh if there's anything else important coming on over the next few weeks few months i'll pop in drop in one of these videos in and out and just give you guys a quick update so anyway this is kj this is sports fans only update and uh i'll see you guys next week Peace.